young woman who came to Boston, worked in technology for a bit, but then she decided to follow her dreams. And boy, are we glad she did. I've already lived here for 10 years and I always wish that there was an Italian market like close to my own home instead of having to go into the North End. Join me today as I meet Talia, the owner and operator of The Dirty Italian, a brand new spot right here in South Boston. Hi, Talia. Hi, Alika. Nice to meet you. You too. What are you going to show us how to make today? Today, we're going to make a charcuterie board. I can't wait to taste it. So I use brie as one of the centerpieces, and I have a bunch of different cookie cut out to get a little flour out of it. So once we put the fig jam, this one is an orange fig spread. We put this on top so you can really see the full flour, and then I always just add that on the side just to make it look cute. So now what we're gonna do is fill in the space. So we have a specialty cracker that pairs very well with the fig jam. We also pre-chop a lot of our cheese. Frigo Fontina after the Frigo family in Springfield, Mass. This one is a Munster cheese. This has a little bit of an orange hue. It's very similar to a mozzarella. Dill Havarti, which is a little bit more of a mild cheese. House marinated mushrooms, which will just be thrown in right about here stuffed cherry peppers. These are a little bit spicy and we stuff them with our three year old provolone as well as some prosciutto. You gotta throw in the pickles. The yes. pickles are like my favorites. Next, I like to create salami rivers with my salami. So I take one of the peppered salamis and I fold it over. And now we're gonna do the prosciutto ribbons. So I'll put it right next to this brie add different marinated good items in here like artichokes or roasted peppers. Last thing I always add is a little bit of chocolate to every board. So opening weekend, I was making cheesecake brownies. Unfortunately, I got too excited and I overdid the recipe and I ended up having these brownies kind of explode in the oven. So we took our homemade brownies with all these extra chocolate chips, threw them all in with our cheesecake topping, and now we're rolling them into balls and putting sprinkles on them. Mm. And it's turned into the most asked about dessert that we have upstairs. The whole time I was watching you, <laughs> I was like, I gotta have a bite of this. <laughs> mm. I felt like I was eating three or four desserts in one. I might just have to eat some more and they come in too, but I'm not sharing with you guys. You have to come get your own. <laughs> I love making sandwiches and love interacting with customers. Uh, I live in the neighborhood. It's just awesome having a local market where it's easy to come grab a bite to eat in between my lunch hour and also get my wife Delicious chocolate cake, too. I love meeting new people and helping customers. Well, I'm a dirty Italian myself, so I had to come down and check it out. Thank you for your time today, Talia. Thank you for having me. So we have to know, why the name Dirty Italian? I grew up in Springfield. I worked for a family friend, the Frigo family, in downtown Springfield. So when it was time to graduate from Springfield College, my parting gift was to name a sandwich after me. So we called it Talia's Dirty Italian. And how did that turn into a restaurant here? For the last 10 years, I was actually in software sales, working downtown, living in Southie. And on the side, I was doing grazing tables. And when it was time to really start my own business, I wanted to keep the Dirty Italian name, which is why I decided to call it the Dirty Italian. Now everything that's inside this store is actually things that I always wished were a part of the South Boston community. And in addition to the charcuterie board and the cheesecake bombs, we also have a couple dishes here. What kind of sandwich is this? This particular sandwich is Talia's Dirty Italian. This particular sandwich is loaded with peppered ham, mortadella, hot capricole, and hot supersata. So all the hot Italian meats with Asiago cheese sliced very thin with some of the hot mix, which is really just sliced cherry peppers and oil and vinegar. And what about this chicken dish? The chicken dish is our sweet chili chicken bites. It's become a very popular dish for among our customers. We've now been featuring it almost every single day. It's a tempura chicken in our homemade sweet chili sauce. So there's a wide variety of options for everyone. And you also offer goods that are imported from Italy? Yes, a lot of our goods are imported from Italy as well as locals with 
live inside of Somerville, Cambridge. I use a lot of uh, bakeries over in Cambridge as well as homemade pasta. A lot of my catering dishes incorporate all of the homemade cheeses that I get imported as well. Well, Talia, I know that you're new, but I have a feeling you're going to be growing for years to come. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Thanks to Talia and the Dirty Italian. I know where I'm going in South Boston next time I get a little craving. Well, that's my perspective. Hey, New England, what's your perspective? The Dirty Italian in South Boston.